So the next step to the, um, to the gun is making the handle. Uh, I've got an offcut of wood. It's going to be pretty simple. What I'm going to do is uh, draw on a rough handle shape onto the actual bit of wood that fits my hand. And then I'm just going to chisel away the sides, sand it down and uh, get it as accurate. So he's put the, um, my original spear gun onto the, uh, the block of wood. I'm going to use that as a, an outline to draw the handle. I'm going to overcompensate and add a bit more wood when I'm drawing this, uh, just for, for a bit of fudge factor, um, you know, just in case I make any errors. So, pretty simple, just trace around the actual handle, again leaving a little bit extra. You know, if you're accurate then trace it out as you would normally, but I'm just being safe here. So as I mentioned before, the, um, the actual handle itself is going to slot into the, uh, to the bottom of the spear gun. Uh, so for that, you're going to need to leave a decent notch. Um, thick enough and strong enough to uh, hold the handle into the actual body of the spear. So that's what I'm going to leave. I know it's not the accurate, but it's a rough guide again. So everything in hashed uh, is going to be taken off. Um, and everything left inside is going to be the handle. Now I've got the rough outline of the, uh, the handle, I'm going to start chiseling away to get the uh, rounded edges on the, on the handle. Slowly come into shape there, uh, fits the handle right so far. Need to get some more off down here and uh, up the top, but it's getting there. So what I'm going to do now is cut off the excess either side of the handle. Uh, this is the excess here, and this is going to be the notch that slits into the um, underneath the spear gun into the pre pre cut uh, slot for it. So this bit's going to come off. That's going to stay, and I'll uh, show you what it's like once it's done. So I'm just finishing up on the grip of the handle. Um, I've just marked out or I've just started chiseling off the, uh, the space for my fingers. Um, and how I did that was just place my hand on the, on the piece of wood itself, draw a rough outline of where you want uh, your fingers to sit and then uh, sharpie in uh, the lines that you want to cut. So I'm nearly finished on this. Uh, I've got a little bit more work to do on the uh, around the, the actual finger slots themselves, you can see. 